Now we're going to look at protractors and angle measurements. We've talked before about the protractor and at some angle measurements, but let's base this on uh, the what we're going to call the XY plane. What we've used before in algebra is where we have a grid in the X direction and the Y direction. And I've added a few pieces of information here. If we, if we look at something, if we assume a ray or a vector pointed in this direction, um, or a line segment, I guess we're, going to, we're calling them rays, and he's at this angle, we typically call that a zero degree angle. And as we move up, we move up to a 90 degree angle, and we rotate on around, we rotate all the way to 180, and then point it down as 270. All the way in from 270 here, uh, again, is this will be a 360. This is the typical uh, designation of, uh, of the XY grid in the way we look at angles. So if we look at this, and I've got a few points labeled here, point A, this is, this is not zero, this is a uh, notice the notation of mathematics, oftentimes zero has a line through it to designate it different from the letter O. This is the letter O for origin. This is uh, the uh, point C and point D. So I've got four points, A, O, C, and D on this graph. And I've got lines drawn, obviously A is on the x-axis, B is, I mean D is at a 45 degree angle, it's halfway between 0 and 90, and halfway between 90 and 180 is 135 degree angle. Now, later we'll be looking at a lot of these angles when we do triangles, but uh, and you'll, you'll get pretty familiar with the different angles. But for right now, what we're going to look at is the concept of angle measure. The, uh, well, this, this notation here means the angle AOC, from A to the origin to C. And that means this angle, or this arc right here, and that's from the A, uh, AOC is 135. So we see that AOC is 135 minus 0, where it's the angle of C minus the angle of A. And that's the notation that we're seeing in the book. And that makes more sense if we look down here. The angle COD, to find that, is what's the angle of C minus what's the angle of D. Because here what we're looking for is what's the angle right here in the middle. And so we find what's the arc that C went minus the arc that D went. So the angle COD is 135, which is C, minus 45, which is D. And you subtract those and we still we see that's a 90 degree angle.